Hello there, today we are taking a look at LEGO Set 70900, the Joker Balloon Escape. It was released in 2017 to coincide with the LEGO Batman movie, which I would recommend checking out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's non-stop nonsense, but it's got a little bit of heart thrown in there, and it's a good watch. Uh, so this set comes with two minifigures, Batman, of course, and the Joker. Uh, the Batman is pretty standard, uh, has a utility belt piece there. Uh, my main complaint about Batman figures is the head, uh, which has just this workout headband style. Uh, I don't like this. I really don't understand why Lego has not invested in a dual molded cowl piece at this point. Because it they make so many other dual molded pieces. Why don't they just make a Batman cowl that has the eyes built in? It just doesn't make sense to me. I, I don't like that design decision. Uh, the Joker is great. Uh, it's got these massive coattails here, uh, which are just absolutely ridiculous and uh, great facial expressions. Uh, this is a great figure right here. And you do get some s small accessories. You get this grappling hook, which is rather chunky. It's, it's not great, uh, but it, they were probably on a limited parts budget, so it works out. Uh, the Joker's escape vehicle is much better. Uh, it's got these paintbrush handles, which serve as just handles. You can, of course, put the minifigure on there. It doesn't need to hold on, but there's that. Uh, you get a bunch of balloons, just like the opening scene in the movie. Uh, you get some flame pieces as well, which I had not noticed this, uh, but the newer flame pieces do not have the little pinholes, which means that you can't put these in the mouth of a dragon. Uh, so I'm guessing that means that the Lego Dragon mold is, is not coming back uh, because they removed the little pins uh, from the flame piece. So that's unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, you get this little kind of jetpack sort of balloon thing. Um, it's a fun little build and it's able to stand up on its own like that. Um, of course, Joker's stepping on his coattails now, but there you go. And then the action feature comes, of course, from the bomb, which is heavily featured in that scene as well. You get some macaroni pieces to create this tubing, and the action feature is right here, and it explodes, which is simple but functional. So I like that. Uh, and then when you put it together, it's just kind of out of the way. It's not an obvious action feature. And the bomb is rather over-designed, but that's kind of just the point. It's exaggerated for the movie. And right here you can see a clip piece where it actually would connect to another set from the same year. I believe it was a Mr. Freeze set. Uh, you get a printed, sorry, not printed, this is printed. Um, you do get a sticker here and a sticker there. Uh, the console is good. It looks like an old kind of CRT computer monitor thing. Uh, I do wish they would have given us a keyboard print in this tan color uh, because that would have been nice to have, uh, but they probably just didn't have it in the budget. So you just get a grill tile there to represent the keyboard. Uh, but yeah, you can remove the bomb, of course, and disarm it, which is what Batman does in the movie. Spoiler alert. It's like the first five minutes, so it's not, not really that much of a spoiler. But again, if you haven't seen it at this point, just, just go do that. Uh, but yeah, this is a fun little set. Uh, just the right amount of play features, the right amount of silliness, and uh, for the price at the time, and even right now, it's not terribly expensive on the secondhand market. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you in another Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies video. Take care.